Hey everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be my eyeshadow palette declutter. This is a video that I have been dreading filming. I always dread this video, but I know that it's necessary, and I have two huge boxes full of eyeshadow palettes. I'm in the process of unpacking and organizing my makeup room, and I figured I would go through all my eyeshadow palettes before I put them away so that I can organize them as I put them away instead of putting them in random drawers, taking them back out to film this video. So I'm not sure when you'll see this video, but whenever you do, hi, I hope that you enjoy. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. And let's go ahead and get started. Also, in case you missed it, I filmed a video organizing my books on my bookshelf. So, I will have this video linked down below. You guys should totally go watch it. I'm very proud of it. And I love books and if you like book content, I post book videos too. And I have a whole playlist on my channel. So anyway, just wanted to throw that in there. Let's head into the beauty room. Here are the two boxes that I was talking about. We have this one here full of eyeshadow palettes. And then we have this one here full of eyeshadow palettes. These are medium boxes from U-Haul. <laughs> so there's a lot to go through. I'm very intimidated. I think what I'm going to do is empty out the boxes. I just vacuumed in here, but I will lay down like a little blanket or something so that my makeup isn't all over the floor. Um, but yeah, I'll just take everything out. We'll see what we got, and then I'll probably kind of sort into categories. I'm going to open up every single palette in this video. I always get requests to make sure I open up all the palettes and compare them because people always tell me I keep multiples, like different palettes that look exactly the same on the inside. So <laughs> we're going to try to do that as little as possible. So let me go grab a blanket and let's start emptying these boxes. All right, guys, here are all of my <laughs> eyeshadow palettes. They're literally all over the place. Um, <laughs> it's crazy, like, how many it is when you look at it like this. Like, there's hundreds of eyeshadow palettes here. And I actually just remembered I have a few more in my everyday makeup drawer, so I'm going to grab those and add them to the pile just so that I can try to go through every single eyeshadow palette that I own. I could be missing a few here, but this is definitely like 99% of my eyeshadow palettes. So <laughs> let me grab the ones from my everyday makeup drawer. I'm gonna clear a spot for me to sit and then we'll get to organizing and decluttering. So this should be most, if not all, of my eyeshadow palettes. So I guess, I don't know, I guess we just start I'll just grab one and decide if I'm going to keep it or not. I will, again, open up every single palette for you guys so that you can see what they look like. And yeah, let's get to it. The first palette that is grabbing my attention is the Eternals palette from Urban Decay. This is new and it has like a little pop-up and everything. Um, I don't even know how you get to the palette. Oh, here it is. So... Here's the palette. I actually have never used this before. I've never even swatched it. I planned on doing a video on this originally, but time just didn't really permit it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pass this one along because I have too many eyeshadow palettes and I do not need this one. I also still have not seen this movie, <laughs> so I need to go see that movie, but we're going to start off with a declutter. First one to go. All right, it feels good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to remember to count my eyeshadow palettes and see how many I have total and then how many I'm keeping versus decluttering. Next, we have the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Divine Neutrals palette. I love this palette. It is absolutely stunning. The colors are so pretty. It's such a fun everyday palette, so I will definitely be keeping 
this one I love also I used to wear a lot of colorful eyeshadow palettes but honestly I don't really wear a ton of color anymore if I do it's probably pink or purple I still want to keep some colorful palettes and I do collect certain brands of palettes like ColourPop for example and Glam Light but I do want to try to kind of lower the number of colorful palettes that I have because I'm a basic soft glam everyday kind of neutral type girl these days so um yeah that's just kind of like where my headspace is at as far as what I'm wanting to keep. Another palette that I will be keeping is the Nudie Patootie palette from Laura Lee Los Angeles. This is another palette that I love. Again, I love a good neutral palette. I love Laura Lee. She's one of my favorite YouTubers. I love her products and her personality, so uh, I will be keeping this one. This is going to be a lot harder than I anticipated. All right, next we have the Love You So Brunch palette from Profusion. This is such a cute palette, and the colors are so fun. I bought this at Walmart. It was pretty inexpensive, if I recall properly, but... I just I don't need this palette and I haven't used it yet so while it's still in like a new condition I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one let's go all right <laughs> two down um hundreds to go what else do we have here we have a morphe palette this is the 18t truth or bear oh yes I definitely need this palette. <laughs> I'm gonna keep a lot of neutral palettes, you guys. I love Morphe shadows, and I actually haven't ever used this one before, so I'm excited to try this palette out. Morphe's eyeshadow formula is fantastic, and you guys can use code PAGE for 10% off, so definitely gonna keep her. Man, this is so rough. We have another Morphe palette. This one is so pretty. Look at those oranges. This is the 18D Day Slayer palette. So we have that one. I have another palette in a similar packaging. This is the 15B Brunch Babe palette. Oh my gosh. Look at these palettes. They're so pretty. I love the pinky tones in here. And I love the orange tones in here. <laughs> um, I think I will put those in the keep pile for now. I'm going to obviously go through all of these. And then once I have done that, I'm going to re-go through my keep pile just to double check my decisions and make sure I do want to keep everything that I am keeping. We have the e.l.f. and Chipotle palette, which I purchased. And... Surprise, surprise, I have never used. Now, I love Chipotle. I do. I uh, My Chipotle order is a bowl with white rice, black beans, hot salsa, shredded cheese, and sour cream. It's top tier, you guys. <laughs> but I don't need this palette. I want to keep it just because it's cute and fun. But realistically, these are not colors that I will probably use very often. And I have not used it. And I've had this for months. So that one is going to be decluttered. I have my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palettes here. This is my original <laughs> Jaclyn Hill Volume 1. Here is what it looks like. I will definitely be keeping this. I love my Jaclyn Hill palettes. I also have volume two right here. Beautiful, beautiful shades. This is an example of a colorful palette that I will absolutely be keeping. I have the Maddie Ziegler palette from Morphe and this color right here is absolutely stunning and these shades as well are so pretty but I just don't really reach for this very often so I am going to go ahead and declutter this even though it's a fantastic palette and the packaging is so cute. I was so excited for this to come out but in reality I probably won't get to this for another year so <laughs> I'll go ahead and pass that one along. I have this palette here from REM Beauty. This is Baby Doll and 
Aryan Beauty just came out with chapter two and if you guys haven't seen my video on that I will have it linked down below. I was sent the PR package and I reviewed all the products so definitely go check that video out. I will be keeping this palette because again it's a great neutral palette and REM Beauty is a newer brand and a very exciting brand and I also like the size of this palette. It's a very good travel palette so I will be keeping this one. This little Juno & Co palette is so pretty. That glitter is to die for. This is in the shade Bombshell. I want to keep this but I need to pass more palettes along so this is an amazing palette it's so pretty but i am gonna go ahead and pass this one along i know i have quite a few juvia's place palettes so i'm gonna try to kind of look through and grab the ones that i can find so that we can kind of do a few of these all at once so I guess I could only find three. I don't know if I have more and I just can't find them, but I kind of searched this general area and I found three. Oh, here's a fourth one. Okay, so I have four palettes here. We'll probably come across a few more. I feel like I have more than four, uh, but we have some of these six pan palettes. We have this really pretty fuchsia palette. This is the Berries by Juvia's Place. And then I also have the Violets by Juvia's Place. And both of these are stunning palettes. I have the Warrior, which is, I think this was my first Juvia's Place palette. It's so beautiful. Um, and then we have the Warrior 2, which is an all matte palette. So I think what I'm gonna do here is declutter the Warrior 2. I think I think for now I'm going to keep the original Warrior palette because it has so many beautiful shimmers. And then as far as these go, I think I'm going to go ahead and pass both of them along because these are very intense, deep, rich shades, which again, I just don't really wear a ton. And I know I'm going to keep some other colorful palettes with very similar shades to these from Glamlight and Huda Beauty. So um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pass both of these along. Next we have a bunch of Kaleidos palettes. So let's see. It's so difficult for me to get rid of Kaleidos because I absolutely love their eyeshadow formula and their highlighter formula. Just all of their formulas in general are fantastic. So I have two palettes in this packaging. I have the Escape Pod palette which is just so beautiful and those shimmers are unmatched this whole entire middle row is so beautiful i also have this one which is the club nebula palette this was in collaboration with angelica nyquist Ny Ny i don't know how you pronounce her last name um <laughs> but i think i said i was gonna declutter the uh, club nebula palette but then everyone told me not to because it was discontinued so then i kept it but i haven't used it since i kept it so i'm gonna keep the escape pod palette because i just i love this one and this one although it's beautiful it just has grungier more muted deeper shades that i probably won't wear as often so i'm gonna actually declutter this <laughs> this time and then i have a bunch of their futurism palettes so um i guess i will go ahead and just kind of open them all up maybe i don't know if they will stay open but i want to be able to look at these palettes okay so the first one that i have is this one right here this is the Futurism 6 Lunar Lavender. And as you guys saw, that shadow was cracked. And although the rest of the shadows are still good in there, it really deters me from using this palette. So I'm going to go ahead and pass that along. Maybe someone will be able to clean that up and, you know, reuse the palette. But I just know I have too many to be worrying about that. So I'm going to pass that one along. Um we have this one which is probably my favorite this is the futurism 7 sashimi city the colors in here are so pretty so i am gonna keep this one these are gorgeous olive tones um 
but I don't really wear these shades a whole lot and I'm really trying to be cutthroat for you guys. So I'm going to pass this one along. This is Futurism 1 Sofi Green or Sci-Fi Green. This palette is so colorful and fun. I feel like I have to keep this. <laughs> so I will be keeping this one. This is Futurism 4 VR Neon. Okay, we have three left. This is a really pretty palette. I think I used this for a holiday look maybe. We have this one, which is so pretty, and then this one. I probably won't wear this one a whole lot, so I think I can pass this one along. This is Futurism 5 Electro Turquoise. This is so difficult. Um, and then we have these two. Like, look at these shades. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. So this one is untouched, and I really want to swatch these colors, but at the same time, I would rather keep it new and pass it along to someone else. So this is Futurism 3 Astro Pink. I want to keep it, but I gotta let it go. And then this one, I think I can let go of this one too. This is Futurism 2 Cyber Bronze. I want to keep them all and like have a whole collection of them, but I, I can't have a collection of every single brand. I have to make <laughs> some decisions here. So, um, oh, here's one more Kaleidos palette that I found. So this is the Flower Punk palette, and this is a really cool palette. I really like the shades in here. And I love the packaging, and this is a little bit different from what I've kept so far, so I am I'm gonna keep this one. I have a few Revlon palettes here. I'm actually gonna go ahead and declutter both of these. This one is the Fully Loaded palette. I think this is from the Sophie line. And then we have this Insider Revlon Color Stay palette. Um, I just haven't opened either of these. And again, I'd rather pass those along to someone who can get better use out of them since I have so many other palettes. Now, this one, oh, this isn't even the one. <laughs> I have a few of this, this formula. This is the one that I was trying to find. This one is called the Big Bang, and I will keep this one because it's nice to have this formula on hand, and those colors are really pretty. This one is still unopened, so I think I'm going to go ahead and pass it along, even though I want to keep it. Like, this color right here looks so pretty. This one is called Tantrum. But I think it's time that I let it go and make some room for my other palettes. Now I'm going to go ahead and crank through a few palettes that I'm going to keep because I'm seeing a lot on top here that I want to keep. So some palettes that I will be keeping are the Glamlight and Michaela palette. I absolutely love this palette. It is so pretty and I want to use this soon. I think I might put this in my everyday makeup drawer once I unpack everything. I really need to film a new one of those so I think, I don't know, remind me to put this in my everyday makeup drawer if I forget guys. <laughs> so that one I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep the Candy Skies palette from Laura Lee Los Angeles. I love this palette again. So pretty. I love the pastels. I feel like this is perfect for spring. We have the Rose Quartz palette from Huda Beauty. This is one of my all-time favorite eyeshadow palettes. I love it so much. It's beautiful. It's fantastic. Definitely buy this palette if you like these colors. It's amazing. This is staying. I am also going to keep my ice cream palette from Glam Lights. Super fun, colorful palette here. I love these shades. If I'm gonna play with color, I'm probably going to reach for Glam Lights. Again, you guys can use code PAGE and save 15% off of Glam Light products. I will have a, a link for Morphe Glam Lights. Ofra is another brand that I have a dis discount code for. You guys can use code PAGE for 20% off of Ofra. <laughs> Um, so I'll have all my codes and stuff linked down below in the description box in case you guys are interested in checking out any of these brands. We have a few Natasha Denona palettes here that I'm definitely going to be keeping. We have the bronze palette. Yes, 1000%. We have the sunset palette. Again, I am not going to be getting rid of any of my Natasha Denona palettes. We have the gold palette, which I think is sadly discontinued now. 
here is a look at the gold palette. We have some smaller Natasha Denona palettes here that I'll go through in a second. We have the Cranberry palette as well as the Peak palette, two gorgeous five pan palettes from Natasha Denona that I will be keeping. Here is the Life's a Draft palette. This is a collaboration between Samantha March and Ofra Cosmetics. Definitely will be keeping this one. I love Ofra. Their products are fantastic and I really enjoy that palette a lot. Speaking of Ofra, I have a few of their smaller palettes here. So we have the Signature palette in Luxe. This is so stunning. We have the Signature palette in Frosted Glow. Oh my gosh, 1000% keeping. The, that's just like a ton of their highlight shades. Then we have Empowered. This is a really pretty green palette. Oh, okay. If, okay, I have to get rid of one, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Signature palette and Empowered, just because I don't wear a ton of greens. But do I keep it? Oh, I want to keep it. Oh my gosh, I'm going to go back on what I said. <laughs> I'm going to keep it because <laughs> I just love these Ofra palettes so much. To make up for lying to you guys, <laughs> I'm going to try to find some palettes that I want to declutter. Oh boy, this is going to be extremely difficult. All right, I feel like I can let go of this one. This is from uh, Morphe. This is the 35D Desert Bouquet Palette. This is really pretty. The colors are gorgeous, but I have a lot of these larger Morphe palettes, so I'm going to declutter that one. I found another Juvia's Place palette. This, I don't, I don't even know how you pronounce this one, but here's what it looks like. Um, I love this palette and I think there are some gorgeous shades in here, but I'm going to pass that along to somebody else. I have some Odin's Eye palettes here that I would like to go through. So this first one is the Mini Ocean palette. This is so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and open all of these up. Oh my gosh. Look at that one. This is the mini. Oh wait, this is the Skuld S-K-U-L-D mini eyeshadow palette. Then we have the mini sky palette, which looks like this. And then we have the mini forest palette, which looks like this. So I do want to keep an Odin's eye palette. Um, I will declutter this one, the mini ocean, because I just need to start making faster decisions so that I can let go of more. Um, I will declutter the mini sky palette. I'm going to keep this one, this one right here, the mini forest palette, and I will declutter this gorgeous, colorful palette here. This is the mini sky gold palette so I'll declutter this one I'm gonna keep the mini forest because I want to keep their formula but at the same time I need to be picky you guys know you already know that I'm keeping this palette nudie number two one of my all-time favorite eyeshadow palettes if not my favorite I love this thing so much it's fantastic definitely buy it <laughs> you need it it's so good i have a pixie palette here the colors are stunning but we're gonna let it go i have the natasha denona glam face palette in lights i think it's called light i'm pretty sure yes light i will be keeping this one i'm gonna keep my pat mcgrath mothership palette here's what it looks like it's so beautiful. This is an expensive palette. This is the, I think, Mothership 5. This is my only Mothership palette from Pat McGrath, and I love it. I am keeping it. This little palette right here is from Revolution Pro. This is the Ultimate Eye Look Palette in Diamonds and Pearls. The packaging is so fun and cute, and these shades in here, this one in particular, is to die for. I love this palette and I'm going to keep it. And it's affordable, which is fantastic. I'm going to keep my Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette. I love this thing. It's great. I'm also going to keep my Pat McGrath. This is the Holiday 2021 palette. 
I'm not sure what this is called. Oh, it's a Mothership Mega Celestial Odyssey palette. So I will be keeping both of those. I feel like this one might come as a surprise to you guys. This is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I'm pretty sure this is discontinued. And I think this is a beautiful palette, but I think I'm going to declutter it because I haven't used it in forever. I want to keep it because the packaging is cute. This is, I think, probably my only Tarte eyeshadow palette, but I can't. <laughs> I need to let it go. So we're going to declutter it. That was a surprise one. I am surprising myself with that decision. We've been doing good. We need to keep doing good. So... Why is life so hard? All right, Alamar Cosmetics, uh, Reina del Caribe, Volume 1. I am going to declutter this, even though it's phenomenal, and I love Alamar Cosmetics. I just don't really reach for these colors a ton, so I'm going to declutter this one, but I will be keeping their Spanglish palette because this one, the colors. The colors in here are just beautiful, so... I will be keeping Spanglish because I love that palette. I love it so much. I have a few With Love Cosmetics palettes. Parts of Nude is stunning and phenomenal and I'm going to keep it. And then same with Pink Dreams. This is such a pretty palette. I love all of the pink shades in here and I love that the pans are in the shapes of clouds because I just think that is the cutest thing ever. I have some Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. Now I used to collect these. I say used to because I feel like I feel like I don't need to collect them anymore and I think it's time that I kind of go through them a little bit. So I know I have more. I know I have more. I just don't know where they are. I have at least one more. Oh well, I'm sure we'll find it. <laughs> but I have a ton of these palettes here. So we have Modern Renaissance. This was a game-changing palette for me. I have had this since it came out. You can tell the top of mine is uh, bleached from the sun because it used to sit in a uh, basket with a bunch of other eyeshadow palettes and it was like in front of a window. This is one that I am going to keep, but not in my main collection. This is a sentimental piece for me. You can tell <laughs> that I use this so much, especially this shade here, which is called Primavera and Vermeer. Both of those stunning. This was a game-changing palette, so I'm going to set this aside because, again, I'm going to keep that for sentimental re reasons, but not to use because I'm just not going to use that palette anymore. We have the Subculture palette, which this caused ripples <laughs> in the beauty community. There was so much controversy over this palette, and I think I'm going to keep this one for sentimental reasons as well. I I'm not going to use that palette anymore, but I do want to keep that. Norvina, I will keep. I will keep this one. That color story is phenomenal. Carly Bible, I will keep this one because, again, the color story is phenomenal. The Riviera palette, I, uh, this is a really pretty fun summery palette, but I think that this one I can let go and I will declutter it. And then of course, Omrezy is my favorite ABH palette. <laughs> I love this thing and I will be keeping it. So these are the three that I am going to keep. I have this little mini Charlotte Tilbury palette. This is the Pillow Talk Luxury Palette of Pops and I'm going to keep it. I have another Alamar Cosmetics palette. This one is so pretty. I think this is the Reina Volume 2 palette. I'm going to pass it along because I don't think I have used this. Yeah, I haven't even swatched it yet, so I can pass that along to someone else and hopefully they can get better use out of it than I can. Here we have a bunch of Morphe palettes. So this first one is Morphe and Manny MUA. <sighs> I want to keep this because it's Manny MUA. <laughs> so I'm going to put that in the maybe pile. <laughs> I'm just going to set that aside over there. Uh, next we have an empty. Is this empty? Magnetic palette. Yeah, this is empty and brand new. So I'm going to pass this along to someone else. Maybe they can use it. I don't really have a lot of like single depotted shadows or anything. So I don't really have a need for that. 
Next, we have this beautiful, colorful palette. Look at that, from Morphe. This is the 9C Color Me Cool. Let me take a look at some of these other, other palettes and see if I have any similar shades to that. This is, oh, this is an empty magnetic palette. I need to clean this up, but these are my With Love Cosmetics glitters. I'm gonna keep these, so I'll set that aside. We have the Morphe 3503. This is uh, kind of like a throwback piece. The 350 was another monumental eyeshadow palette for me, and the whole 350 collection, the 3502, the 3503, all meant a lot to me but we're gonna we're gonna pass it along <laughs> we're gonna be strong I'm not gonna use that palette anymore this one I will keep this is the redone version of the 35O palette this is called the 35O supernatural glow so they kind of like revamped the original palette and I recently purchased that so I will keep that one we have the everyday chic palette so stunning these are my types of colors and then we have oh this was a beautiful I think this was a holiday palette this is the 39s such a gem palette and then we have the 35 xo palette oh my gosh okay I like this palette more than this palette over here, so I will keep this one, the 35XO, but I'm going to declutter the Everyday Chic palette because if I had to pick, I would pick the XO. And then I have these colors in other palettes, so I'm going to go ahead and pass this little Morphe one along. And then this one this one i want to keep do they still make this palette if they still make this i'm gonna keep it if not i'll declutter it so i'll i'll look into that and i think i am going to keep this mini mua morphe palette for now i have another odin's eye palette here this one is really pretty really colorful and fun it looks like we have some cool glitters in here but I think I'm gonna pass this one along. This is the Dominique Coral Blossom palette. I am going to keep that one. I'm gonna pass along this uh, Wet n Wild palette. It's still unopened and it's so pretty. I love the colors. Definitely what I would wear, but I just, I got too many. So that one's gonna go. And then same with this Revlon palette. It's still sealed and I'm gonna go ahead and pass that one along and you know what I'm gonna pass this one along too. the one that I have used I, I recall not being overly impressed I, I was expecting more from this so I think I'm gonna declutter this one too I love Revlon but I gotta let go here is another palette <laughs> that I um, purchased and this is a massive palette I think there's like a hundred shades in here or something like that and I don't need this palette it was fun for a video but I don't need this palette <laughs> so I'm gonna declutter that one I have quite a few Lunar Beauty palettes and I'm gonna keep them all because again this is kind of a brand that I collect so I have the original Life's a Drag palette I have the Strawberry Dream palette I have the Moonspell Volume 2, which looks like this. I have the original Moonspell, which looks like this, and this one has a shade named Page, so <laughs> I have to keep that one. <laughs> um, we have this one from Lunar Beauty. This is Eternal Eclipse. Stunning. I have another Laura Lee Los Angeles. This is the Cat's Pajamas palette. I love this palette. I know a lot of people didn't, but I love that palette and I'm gonna keep it. Here's another Manny MUA Lunar Beauty palette. This is the Greek Goddess palette. I have some more With Love Cosmetics pressed glitters here that I'm gonna keep. I have the blue one from With Love Cosmetics and the pink one from With Love Cosmetics, as well as this 
palette that was a limited edition holiday palette from with love cosmetics oh and i have the cocktail palette <laughs> also from with love cosmetics and i'm gonna keep all of them because i love this brand and um they're super awesome i love their pressed glitters and their palettes so these are all staying i have this empty palette with some laura lee los angeles singles in it and I think for now I will keep it. I have a few of these Huda Beauty palettes. So this is the Naughty Nude. And we have the New Nude. Definitely keeping both of these. I also have another one somewhere. Mercury Retrograde right here. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. I'm gonna keep all three of those. I have this Pat McGrath palette. <sighs> I'm gonna declutter it can you believe that I bet you can't I bet you can't believe that <laughs> I'm gonna declutter it because I just I don't use it same with this one this is another Pat McGrath palette I have never used this so it's time to let it go I'm pretty sure I bought these on sale and I never used them so that just goes to show that just because it's on sale doesn't mean you should buy it maybe everybody knows that and I am just naive <laughs> but now I know now I know I have another Ofra palette this one is one of my favorites this is the sweet dreams palette I love this palette and I'm definitely gonna keep that one here's the life's a drag facelift palette this is the new and improved life's a drag palette from lunar beauty I'm gonna keep it okay so we're making some progress I organized some palettes into some different categories so let's go ahead and go through some. I have another Natasha Denona that I will be keeping. This is the Lila palette or Lila palette. I always forget. Lila? Lila? <laughs> I think, I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember, but um, I'm definitely going to keep that one, of course. I also have a bunch of these little mini palettes from Natasha Denona. So we have the mini Biba palette, which I'm keeping. I'm keeping all of these the mini nude palette, the mini star palette, the mini love palette, and the mini Lila palette. I have some miscellaneous brands here. This first one is Kylie Cosmetics. This is really pretty. I got this in the fall, so I've only had it for like, I don't know, max mm, five months or so, six months maybe. I think... I think I'll keep that one for now. We have the Smoke Sessions palette from Melt Cosmetics. I think I'm going to pass this one along, even though it was really expensive. I don't completely love this formula, and it's kind of a messy palette, and the shades aren't my everyday. We have a little Dominique Cosmetics pink palette. This is so cute. This is the... I forget what it's called, but... I'm gonna keep it this is the cute palette from nabla it's so pretty i bought this at the morphe store but i'm gonna let it go because i need to we have the revolution palette this is called the forever flawless palette this is a really nice affordable palette i i think i'm gonna declutter it though as you i've gotten tons of use out of this as you can see but I just have so much other stuff that I am going to reach for over this. So it's a great palette, but I'm going to declutter it. I have the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. I'm going to declutter this. This is one that I've decided to declutter and then gone back on my decision and decided to keep multiple times. And I don't think this has been swatched, so I'm going to declutter it for real this time. I have this pixie palette this is really pretty it's a very cool toned palette i want to keep this but i have the glam palette from natasha denona oh here it is i can kind of compare these and i know these are not the same price point at all but i think i'm gonna keep well i'm definitely keeping the natasha denona so since i'm keeping this one i'm gonna declutter the pixie 
I'm also going to keep the Love palette from Natasha Denona. Here is another Morphe palette. This is the 9K Khaki Calling palette. This is really pretty, but I think I'm going to let it go. I'm getting rid of so many palettes that I never in a million years thought that I would have been <laughs> able to, which is very exciting for me. I have another empty magnetic palette from Lorely Los Angeles, and I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that one because again, I just don't really need a ton of magnetic palettes. I have my Jaclyn Cosmetics Vault collection here. I'll go ahead and show you guys these. We have the Bling Boss palette. This one is my favorite from this set. We have the Dark Magic palette. We have the Armed and Gorgeous palette, and we have the Ring the Alarm palette. And I'm gonna go ahead and keep all of these because these are definitely a sentimental piece for me. Okay, this is sort of a pile of miscellaneous palettes. We have this e.l.f. one, which is really pretty, but I'm gonna declutter it. <laughs> we have Robbie D. Christie. This one is, ugh, I paid like $100 for this because I missed the launch because the website was like so terrible. Um, I really don't wear this palette and it sucks that I paid so much money for it, but I think I'm gonna keep it for now because I do enjoy keeping collabs, but at the same time, like, I kind of wish I didn't buy that palette. And I love Raw Beauty Christie, so that hurts to say, but it's kind of true. Um, I have the Heaps of Sweets palette from XO Beauty, which is Shan XO's brand. I'm kind of in the same position here. So I guess I'll set that in the keep pile, but I might revisit it. This palette is beautiful. This is from KBD. This is the Por Vida palette. I'm going to keep that. And then I also have the Edge of Reality palette. This is 100% recyclable packaging. And these colors are really pretty. So I think I'm going to keep that one for now as well. I have these mini Laura Lee palettes, which are more so I keep for my collector in me <laughs> because I have all of the Laura Lee Los Angeles palettes. I have this one. This one's going to be controversial. I love Jackie Ina. She's, she's a queen, but this palette, I, I, I want to keep it for this shade right here, but I just, I don't think I can do it. I had this in my everyday makeup drawer for the last like month and a half and I didn't reach for it once. It's such a pretty palette and I want to keep it, but I really think I need to let it go. Pass it along. Here's the mini Zendo palette from Natasha Denona. I'm going to keep that one. So Jarvis just came in here and told me that I have to keep this one, which of course I would have kept anyway. I have a bunch of these mini Huda Beauty palettes and I love them. <laughs> I really do. So I think I'm going to keep all of them. Um, we have Sapphire Obsessions, Topaz Obsessions, Nude Medium, Chocolate Brown, <laughs> Pastel Rose. We have the Neon Green Palette, Nude Rich, Pastel Lilac, Emerald Obsessions, Ruby Obsessions. Amethyst Obsessions, Nude Light, Pastel Mint, and the Neon, like, Peachy one. I don't know what this is called. Not Peachy, but, like, Orange. So, I'm keeping all of those because I love them so much. Um, I will get rid of these. I have these little ColourPop palettes, and I love ColourPop. I really do. I'm gonna, you'll see that in a second. I'm gonna keep most of my ColourPop palettes. These ones though, I think I can declutter. So those ones are gonna go. I have these two from Game Beauty. These are really cool. We have the Adventure palette, which looks like this. And then we have the Fantasy palette, which looks like this. And these are so cool. If you guys didn't know, I love video games. I think I mentioned Fortnite at the beginning of this video, so you probably know. <laughs> 
but I love Fortnite. Fortnite is so much fun. I actually live stream on Twitch. So you guys should follow me on Twitch if you want to watch me play Fortnite sometime. Um, but I also love Animal Crossing and I just grew up playing video games. And these are really cool, uh, really cool palettes. So I am going to keep hold on to those because they're just so cool. Um, we have another Juno & Co palette and I think since this is the only one I have, I am going to pass it along let it go i gotta do my best i feel like i'm doing pretty good um we have another odin's eye palette which mm, i'm gonna pass it along I'm gonna let it go like elsa from frozen <laughs> i have the morphe and pony palette this is so pretty i and it's new i have to keep that one I have my Tati Beauty palette, which again, I am going to keep this because it's stunning. Um, this one makes me so sad because it's so pretty, but it is completely smashed on the inside. This is actually gifted to me. This is the Mixology Happy Hour Edition palette and I like can't even open this palette without spilling eyeshadow everywhere. It busted when we moved so I think this is the only casualty as far as broken eyeshadow goes from the palette so I'm so sad to pass this along but I can't even pass this along like I have to like get rid of this because it's so messy um so i'm gonna get rid of that one unfortunately but it was so sweet such a sweet gift um anyway we have the mickey and friends palette from morphe this one i'm going to keep because i really like it <laughs> this is the nikki tutorials palette this is in collaboration with beauty bay such a stunning formula here um i am you know what? This is kind of weird. Um, I think there's something growing in this. That sounds disgusting. Unless, mm, I don't know. Oh my god, that's kind of gross. I, I don't, I can't tell. Uh, do you guys see in this shade right here? There's like this yellowy green color. It could just be fallout from the shade. But it's also in this blue color and this pink color and this one over here. So I don't think I want to risk it. I don't, this isn't like, I've had eyeshadow palettes way longer than this. But that kind of freaks me out seeing that. I loved this palette, but I think I need to discard that because that's kind of freaking me out a little bit. Um... I have another Morphe palette. This is the Jaclyn Hill Volume 1. I bought like a newer, nicer, cleaner version that actually has the, well actually it's on here. It has the shade names on the packaging. The original one I have does not have the shade names, so I am going to keep that one. Um, I have a few more Natasha Denona palettes that I will be keeping but i'll go ahead and run through these with you we have this one here which is so beautiful this is the retro palette we have the star palette the circo loco palette the biba palette the tropic palette <laughs> and the zendo palette and Natasha Denona actually just came out with a pastel palette and I kind of want to buy it. Should I buy it? Let me know. Let me know if I should buy it. Next I have some Norvina palettes. I basically collected these. This is the original Norvina palette. That's volume one. Then we have volume two which looks like this. Then we have volume three, which looks like this. And we have volume four. I think there may have been another one, honestly. I don't even know. Um, I really want to keep these because, I don't know. I, I like, I loved these so much at one point, but I just don't use them anymore. So it's like, should I keep them? Maybe I'll ask Jarvis. Let me let me call him and tell him to come in here and 
ask his opinion. While I wait for him, um, I'm gonna keep these Profusion palettes because I know I got rid of a lot of my more affordable palettes and these are like $5 each, five to $10. I think they're $5, honestly. Um, they might be 10, <laughs> but I think they're five. So I'm gonna keep all of these. We have Citrine, Mauves, and Fuchsia. I have a few more empty palettes. I have a With Love Cosmetics empty palette and this Tarte empty palette, which has one single shadow in it. I don't know. Oh, it's a ColourPop palette <laughs> or a ColourPop shadow. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter both of these palettes. I have these, which I don't really use a ton, but they are kind of fun to have. So I think, well, I'll definitely keep this. This is like a little face paint type palette thing. Um, so I'll I'll keep I'll keep that. But this I bought because of Tati. Am I gonna use this? Probably not. I'm gonna declutter this, but I will keep this one. I have some random like lash holders in here. I have this Morphe one and this D-Star Lashes one, which I need to go through my lashes again because I don't really wear lashes a ton. So when I go through this again, I will consider those part of that declutter. You can tell me. Okay, mm -hmm. so here we got volume one. Okay. Okay. We got volume two. Mm-hmm. We got volume three. Ooh. And we got volume four. I say keep three and four. Keep three and four? Yeah. And get rid of one and two? Mm -hmm. All right. There it is. 50%. It's happening. <laughs> so I guess Jarvis helped us make the difficult decision for ABH. Now I have a pile of Urban Decay palettes. Whoops. We have the Naked Reloaded which I think I'm gonna add to my sentimental palette pile. We have the Wild West palette, the Ultra Violet palette. I got a brand new Naked 3, which I'm gonna keep. Urban Decay sent this to me, and I'm so excited. I used to love this palette, so that one's gonna stay. Um, we have the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I don't know. We have the Honey palette, which I'm going to keep, and we have the Smoky palette, which these two I'm going to put in Sentimental because I'm probably not going to use those. These ones, however, I will still use, so we're going to keep those four. And then I think all we have left is ColourPop and Glamlight. So I think I'm going to keep the rest of these palettes, but we'll go through them just to make sure. Um, so... For Glam Light, I have the Street Taco palette, which is so cool. And then I also have the Viva Taco palette. We have this collection, the Happy Hour collection. We have Chocolate Martini. We have Dirty Martini. We have Margarita. And we have the Wine palette. I have the two icy palettes. This one is the blue raspberry, and then I also have the cherry. I have the, uh, what is this called? It's like the pie palette or something. Yeah, the pie palette. So cute. I have a few of the pizza palettes. We have the meat lovers, the veggie lovers, and the full sized pizza palette. We have the burger palette. <laughs> we have the <laughs> paint palette, which looks like this. We have the donut palette, and we have the cake palette. This is, again, a brand. I just, I collect their palettes. I love them so much. There's a reason that I have a discount code with them. I love and support this brand and they're just fantastic products and they're so cool and i think i'm missing a few so i definitely want to complete my collection but that's you know i have a lot of eyeshadows right now so uh i'm happy with what i have but eventually i would love to complete my 
glam light collection. We have a few of these larger ColourPop palettes. We have the Bare Necessities palette. We have the Stone Cold Fox palette. And we have the So Jaded palette. I'm keeping all of these. They are just so good. And then I have a pile of palettes here and then a pile just off camera that you guys can't see. So I'm going to organize these into like the type of palette. So I'll have like my plastic nine pan palettes here, cardboard ones, you know, other shaped ones. And, and then we'll go through each pile. But again, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to keep all of these. There may be a couple that I'm willing to part with, but we'll see. I actually have this palette too from Huda Beauty. This is the rose gold palette. This is the remastered version and I am definitely keeping that. <laughs> Huda Beauty is one of my favorite eyeshadow palette brands. All right, so I have the Truly Madly Deeply palette. This is really pretty, but I actually think I'm going to declutter this one. I'm going to let it go because because I can. Um, I have my Animal Crossing palettes, which I am definitely going to keep. We have What a Hoot. I love Animal Crossing. <laughs> Nook Ink, Five Star Island, and La Belle of the Ball. So all of those are saying they are so cute. Um, I have a few of these cardboard nine pan palettes. I have Nude Mood. I'm realizing I'm missing some and I don't know where they are. So um, Nude Mood. Lil Ray of Sunshine, and that's taupe. I'm gonna keep all of those. I have the Garden Variety palette, which I'm going to keep. Oh, I have the Blush Crush palette. This is another cardboard nine pan palette. I'm gonna keep that. I have all of these <laughs> plastic nine pan palettes, and I'm gonna keep all of them, but I will open them up for you. We have Smoke Show, which I think they have since renamed. We have Mint to Be, Just My Luck, It's My Pleasure, Going Coconuts. This one is kind of messed up. The like plastic packaging lifted, so they're kind of slid around, but I can fix it. <laughs> we have the Ooh La La. This one, I feel like, was one of my first ColourPop palettes. Miss Bliss. Cloud Spun. Orange You Glad. Baby Got Peach. Aura and Out. Main Squeeze. Aha uh -huh, Honey. Lilac You A Lot. Blue Moon, In a Love Trance, On Cloud Blue, and finally we have Strawberry Shake. <laughs> so I'm going to keep all of these, oh gosh, all of these nine pan palettes. And finally we have our last stack of eyeshadow palettes. All right, let's see. We have the Dream Street palette, which is a Kathy Knight's collab. I actually, something leaked onto here, like a setting spray or something, and the packaging got kind of messed up. Um, ugh, these palettes are just so pretty. Menage à moi, I'm gonna keep. At Forest Sight, I'm gonna keep. Bye Bye Birdie, keep. California Love, that's one of my favorites, keep. Wild Nothing, keep. Boudoir Noir, keep. The Zodiac Palette, I'm gonna keep all of these. Lizzie McGuire and the Dream Street. All right, now it's time to count up my palettes. I'm gonna stack them up. I'm gonna have a keep pile and a declutter pile. I'll show you what they look like side by side and I'll also count them up for you guys and give you the numbers. All right, guys. So I have my two piles. <laughs> this is my keep pile and that's my declutter pile. So obviously I'm keeping more than I'm decluttering. And if I am being honest, I did not go 
through these again as I piled them up, which I probably should have, but it's getting pretty late. It's 11.59 p.m. <laughs> Literally, it's oh, midnight, so um, I think I'm going to end the video here, but again, here's my keep pile. Here's my declutter pile. I'm keeping 169 palettes. <laughs> it's like comical how many that is, but um, I have 169 palettes here. And then over here, I have 60 palettes. So, um, I mean, getting rid of 60 palettes is huge for me. Uh, there were a couple in here that were very difficult for me to declutter and as silly as that sounds I'm proud of myself for decluttering 60 eyeshadow palettes like that's so many and as I go and put these away and organize them into one of my Alex 9 drawer units I will think about these decision decisions again as far as the ones that I'm keeping and I will update you guys in one of my makeup room organization videos uh as far as if I decide to declutter any other ones which I definitely probably should <laughs> because 169 that is what that's like I could use these palettes twice a year each one twice a year and that's it. Um, so I definitely have some work to do, but I'm, I'm happy with the progress that I made tonight. So that's going to be it for today's video. I have my numbers right here in case you guys, uh, don't believe me. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I counted properly. So, um, anyway, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.